Ten years after the complete nuclear annihilation of the United States, a handful of survivors live in vaults. One of these vaults is Vault 76. For ten years, the occupants of Vault 76 have thrived and survived. But now, the vault has lost contact with the other vaults across America. Worried what this means for the future of the vaults, the Overseer is sending vault dwellers out to find out what has happened and try to re-establish contact. It is not known what will be found outside the vault, especially as it's only been 10 years since the bombs fell. With this in mind, it has been decided that those sent out will be the worst of the worst, the bottom of the barrel of Vault 76. This is where your plucky group of survivors start their post-apocalyptic adventure. Fun for the whole family. Fallout Wasters, now with Let Free Ink. Hey, if I meet Lady Luck, I'll put in a good word for you. Okay, thanks, man. No worries. Same with Mothman and Robots, right? It, absolutely. I just don't know why they're being so cagey about it. Just, like, tell me where she lives. Yeah, like... I mean, they know where everything else is. Right. Oh, they're stingy. Yeah. I mean, she's a celebrity. She was in that cartoon. Maybe it's like, you know, they can't. Oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, we, we already know the lawyers for that thing where it was, was pretty good if they're still playing the, the ads. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I've invited you two, by the way. All right, launching. Oh. I was in bed. Let me get up. <laughs> it's okay. Oh no, Cleo's destroying something. I can see you behind the DM screen. Don't do it, you'll ruin it for you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna oh, leave it so you can look behind the DM, sc uh, DM screen, but if you do, you'll ruin the game for yourself. I think I was right! Uh, you're over here with Lizzie. You got. She's right here, right in front yeah, of your stuff. I I was red. Okay. Oh yeah, I maxed out my luck. Oh, I forgot about Karma Sutra Master. Uh, we can change cards uh, as well if you want to at a point. Uh, oh, you said you had a bunch of new ones, right? I do have a bunch of new ones. They're level twos. I am don't know whether mm. to give you level twos immediately at the start of this game or to wait for you to level up because sometimes you level up just by completing the introduction to stage two, which I might do anyway because you kind of need it to improve your stats. Well, yeah, I, I say we play it by ear. Plus, even if we don't level up, you can always give it to us after the intro. Mm. Oh, should I not be looking at the cards? Uh, which cards? These ones. These is yeah, the, the ones. Yeah, this is the combination decks. I think I am gonna have you like start from level two, uh, actually, so you can like play with your deck cards. Oops. You can see all of them because there's no level threes in there. The level threes are still saved in my thingy. Oh, I'll probably let uh, let you select a second card as well. 47! Did you make all of these? Yes. I made every one Holy of them. Holy shit, my guy. 47, and this is two levels out of 20. You, okay, you're definitely turning this into your own unique game. This, like, shit, dude. This, this is so much work and so awesome. Like, you gotta fucking... Holy shit. Pardon? Shout it to the world. Fuck yeah, dude. Mm. Uh, are you guys in yet? I'm not. I'm just it's waiting. It's connecting for me. 
Hmm. You might have to go out and come back in again. I'll re-invite. Dave, you should have just gotten invited straight on. Yeah, it's loading. Okay. How do we get it to where we don't have to wait for you to invite us? We can just go in. I can make it so any friend can come in, but I know a lot. I know a couple of people, so random people might just be able to come in, which I prefer not to do. Oh. So otherwise, open to everyone, or it's open to just us. Yeah, David's in, so I'm guessing there's something slightly wrong with your one. I wait until da David's completely in before we start. Mm, kiss it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, you're in. I'm just looking through all these, by the way. I've invited you again, Shy, if you need any. Yeah, let's pull them up. I hope you don't mind. No, that's perfectly fine. Do you know? Do you want me to tell you what the stars mean? Absolutely. You can go, you can get this again, you can get a card three times if you have three stars so you can have oh. like all Ooh. like uh, what it does and then you add another 15 percent and you add another 15 percent makes sense makes sense or oh, hard to kill i made that one in two minutes as a response to your uh to the kiss ass one <laughs> oh Two minutes. That is fucking good fucking work for two minutes. Oh, my I guy. thought that was purple. It's grey. That was purple. Do we not get purple anymore? Is purple not a color option? Oh, wait. We discussed this last time, didn't we? Mm, you changed it to purple last time. I'm pretty sure. How the fuck I do that? Uh, I don't remember that. I think we were talking about changing it. Oh, you, you're yellow. Pick yellow. I'm gonna pick yellow for you. Sorry, Chai, I put you in yellow because that's where your stuff is. Oh, I like you. I'm sorry, it's the only option. <laughs> I don't know this one. Oh, which one are you laughing at? Uh, big dick energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I made that. That one is 100% just, like, I invented it. It was really hard to get I... that positioning. <laughs> I think you did a great job. Also, that lump is very thick. Yeah, it's big dick. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it's like, it's less of a tent, more of just like a hill. Yeah. Oh, because it oh, bends is around, Danny dude. Like? What? Is that what Danny looks like? I don't know like? how penises work. Hmm? Little greaser dude? Yeah, that little greaser dude is your guy. Uh, it's Daniel Hornwright is yours, and David's was Henry Dashwood. Uh, sorry, Dave, I thought for some reason your name uh, was okay. David. It wasn't, it was fucking Henry. <laughs> His name is I kind of like David more. It's oh, going to no, be really weird to talking to Dave yeah. as David. Ow, oh, fuck. You okay? Caddy game. Yeah, I always feel bad whenever I spray her with water, so now I just taste better. Oh, I love Aww. Flower Child. You have no idea how difficult it was to paint Flower Child. Well, it looks great. I like the purple. Mm. Everyone oh, else, nice. you can uh, sort through the cards. It's I only showed you like a couple of them. I've got like all of like different cards that I've made. So you good? Well, let me pick just one. I would. Jesus fucking. There we go. Um. Right. Oh, I've already picked this one. <laughs> okay. Now, give me a moment. Everyone, do you want to choose your companion? Oh, wait, first of all, 
Who has the most charisma? I have s- seven charisma. Chai has five. Uh, Dave has eight. Dave gets to go first. Dave gets to pick the first companion, followed by you, followed by Chai. Uh, what are the options? Uh, you've got... Um... Oh, right, over here. Oh, look. Yeah, you've got uh, Tom Smith. Tom Smith comes with Mr. Guide, so you can have two. Uh, so he does give him jobs. <laughs> this is the Mr. Handy, by the way. Mr. Guide over here, if you want to have a look at what the machine looks like. Uh, Janet Matthews, who is a medic, which has some medical pluses. Uh, there Ooh. is a card that you will automatically get from having her. There's a card you'd get from automatically having Tom. And there's a card you'll get from uh, Pepper as well. Pepper's card is quite important if you want to do anything cryptid. Mm. Hell of the survivalist one. Hmm. I think I'm going to pick the medical person, uh, Janet. Okay, put her next to you over there. And I will pick out the uh, card that she comes with. Okay, I was I was looking through the cards because they're all really cool. Who, who are the companions that are left? Uh, the two companions... Uh, Oh, uh, Mr. Guild goes, oh wait, goes with, uh, Tom. So if anyone picks Tom Smith, you get Mr. Guide as well. Uh, Pepper is the one with the special cryptid card. Uh, I'm gonna go with Tom. Okay. Because as much as I'm going for, uh, a, uh, a Mothman... Lizzie is Lizzie is into robots. Hmm. Chai, you have got um Pepper. You good with that? I don't mind switching if you'd rather have uh have Mr. Uh-huh, Handy. Yeah. That's fine. That was that was the okay. last one. It was Look. kind of funny though. It's kind of ironic. Why is that? I'm going to let you think on that for a hot second before I say anything. And it's like funny, he, he, like, it's like an actual joke funny, not like, not side eye funny. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm lost. <laughs> I, I, I actually, I was saying I'm lost. Oh. The. The, the only black friend gets gets the only black companion. There are two oh. black companions. Who? One was a robot. Janet's black as well. Yeah. Who's Janet? Janet's oh, the one I've got. I thought you were mm-hmm. making a comment about you being the original Mothman fucker and wanting and because yeah. uh, the one you picked ends up attracting the cryptids. Oh, I only took him because he was the last one left. I don't mind switching if you'd rather have the Mr. Handy one. Wait, isn't Tom the one? No. Wait, yeah. Isn't Tom the one that we, um, that we're going to eat? What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Nothing. Okay. Don't worry about it. Stay out of, stay out of player business, DM. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm the overseer in this game. Oh, Overseer. Just trying to figure out which is the best robot one to do. Pick the sexiest one. For Lizzie. (laughs) Oh, I already got it. Okay. Right. Who has... um... Who has uh, Tom and Th- um, Yo. you? Okay. Put these two down. Nope. Okay. And Dave, this yep. one's yours. 
Okay. Try to put your cards back okay. to where they were before uh, thingy. I'm not going to let you choose. You only meant to have one card other than your companion's card. Uh, other than your companion's card, you will level oh, okay. up by the end of the uh, of. Well, actually, you'll level up at the start of this game, but this game, I'm guessing, won't run for very long because we've already got quite far in. Yeah, not going to lie, I'm very tired. So it's just going to be um, like introduction, lazy, lazy. Mm. Okay, everyone got their cards. Do you want to flip these? Well, cards? I'm a good one for the hacker because I got smarts. I I'm smart. Mm. How do you like fl like fast flip through the cards? You can search. I don't know how to click do that. the deck and then press search. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh. Right click the Ooh. deck and then press search. Oh, okay, this makes it a whole lot faster. Mm -hmm. And this is the card we're picking for our companion. Uh, no, no, no. What? I've picked the cards for your companions. So, okay. which companion yours? Ah, yes. Yours is. Uh, where are you? Here you go. You get this card. So. Where'd you set it down? Oh, that one? I'll just put it over here. There you go. Okay. Uh, and you so can... what are we... Hmm? What are we picking the card from the deck for? The What's deck... For? Uh, the deck's when you're going to level up, which isn't quite yet, because I still want to go through our stats and everything. Dave, do you mind if I mess oh. with your deck? Oh, we're just yeah, going through the deck for fun. Okay, okay. I thought we were picking something. But uh, we're just picking our companions right now. Yep, you will be picking an uh, another in a moment. Let me just... Boom. Um, just going to double check that everyone's thing. The cards are the most delicate point. Yep. Okay. All right. Now, all of you can... Uh, the companion cards that you have will stay with you as long as you have your companion. Uh, if you lose them, you'll lose them permanently from your deck, like your companion, and they'll uh, you'll have to get the uh, perk again by just leveling up and then getting a perk. Every time you level up, you get one more one new perk. Um, when you see the little absent stars, so you see some with one star and some with three stars, but two of them mm. are black. That means that you can pull that card three times for three times what it's meant to do. Okay? Okay. S sometimes there is a card that doesn't fit in any of the special. There is one card in here that does that. Uh, you can put it in any of the lanes, any of the special lanes, uh, and you can build on it ten times. So after you level up ten times, if you pick it ten times in a row, you can play it. That's this specific card, uh, which is called. Give me a no. <gasps> called uh, intense training means that you can like add a point. So you can add an extra ten special points if you just level up ten times with that special card. Everyone got it? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Um, I do have a question. Yep. Um, with an intelligence of seven. Would my science go up at all? Yes. Okay. By how much? Let me have a look. Right. Science, yeah. What will happen is seven will be added to your science, right? So because you've got zero yeah. science here, because of how you did the uh, thingy, the, uh, the game, the... Um, uh, goat, goat uh, you only have seven points towards science. So each, oh, okay. each thing point gets added to what's reflected. So for example, your agility uh, throwing, lockpick, steel, uh, energy weapons, big guns, and small guns all reflect your uh, agility. So there's six plus what you already have with all of those. Okay. Am I able to increase any of these? Uh, only when you level up. And uh, I, as I said earlier, um, you would usually have to do a charisma check to see if you can change any of your stats after the test. 
This is for two reasons. The first reason, if you get certain answers in the test, don't give you any points. So Chai, for example, has got more points than both of you because you picked uh, uh, both picked a question which incurred zero skill rather than 20, which is the average. OK. So you're already okay. at a, a disadvantage. Yeah, it's basically like a bullshit popular thingy test that sticks, but you can reassign points on your system. Uh, all of you can for, uh, well, all of you can anyway, unless one of you has a really low charisma rate. Uh, I think we're all okay for charisma. Yep, then yeah. all yep. of you outside of the door, uh, just before being moved on, have that as, uh, charisma. So, uh, right, that's, before we level everyone up, let's give everyone the essentials of what the vault would be giving you. So give me a moment. Right. The folders are really well done, too. Like, that's a really good way to plan it. Hmm. Like, I can see this being an actual fucking board game. Yeah, basically it is. Um, right. What? So, you're going to have to shrink these a little bit to uh, fit the little boxes. All right? So everyone gets free stim packs. All right. So I'm putting them at the moment below you. Mm -hmm. Right. Two. Oh, okay. Three. Uh, did the uh, little videos help you uh, understand better how to play the game, by the way? Uh, a little bit, and it helped me understand the world better. Yeah, I was hoping mm. for that. I'm also going to have a pamphlet mm. that will give the rules that everyone will be able to have uh, as well. You also all have one pack of Radaway. Right? What's that? Radaway gets rid of radiation. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um... Your companions have stuff as well, but you haven't known them long enough. Well, if your charisma... Who, whose charisma's over seven? Uh, My charisma is seven. Yeah, that'll count. Mine's eight. Yep, yeah, that'll count too. Uh, both of you are, have the ability to go into your companion's inventory. The companions will have the same inventory that you have at this moment. You are also given a ration of um let me see oops clone right uh how many items can we have at hand at any given time you have you see those little boxes there up yeah here. you can have one large weapon one uh small weapon and four, uh, uh, two pieces of clothing, helmet and uh, normal, uh, normal clothing, and um, two medical, so food or something. You, it'll cost you fifty AP to take something out of your inventory. Mm -hmm. As a rule, oh. most stuff will cost you fifty AP, and all stuff will be uh, numbered on the bottom for what it takes um, to use them. Would us being in a group going outside to explore the wasteland be considered a team workshop? A team workshop? Yeah. How so? Yes. I, I don't know. It was on one of the cards, so I was trying to see if it would be worth it to pick that card or not. Oh, oh let me have a look at it. I'll be able to tell you. I'm also giving you all one canteen of water. There is only one canteen of water, so that's your going uh, going to be one of your priorities. Um, Lizzie, do you still have that Nuka Cola, or have you drunk it? Or who who had the Nuka Cola and who drank it? I had the Nuka Cola and drank it, but um, my bottle cap was swiped by uh... Danny. God, I 
can't remember anyone's name. I apologize. Daniel. Daniel. By Daniel. The names are too fucking normal. I know. <laughs> like, we, we need to get raider names, like, as soon as possible. Oh, that would work. Well, I was already trying to think of a nickname for, um, for Daniel in my head. Uh, I was since his last name is Horny, not Horny, Horn, whatever. Horn. I was thinking you call him like, like D Horn, or um, his street name, which was Little D. But you could call him Silver after his character. A little D would be, uh, that'd be a bit much. Right. Does anyone ca- does anyone's character have a sequestered weapon? Or do they believe have a sequestered weapon within the vault? Uh, didn't I uh, kill Wizzy's laser gun? That would have been I had taken the laser away gun after the incident. Away. I'm yeah. sorry, y'all were both speaking at the same time. What happened? Um, it would have been taken away. Oh. Can I try to get it back? Uh, you're about to be escorted out of the vault, but you can probably get it back from the vault after you've uh, after you've completed the initial mission that the vault wants. So maybe in a couple of sessions, but not right now. Uh, also, uh, due to your behaviour, there's uh, been a decision made that both Lizzie and um, Daniel will not be provided with any weapons. Damn it. Oh no! Uh, that, puts a, that puts us at such a disadvantage. Uh, yeah. But Henry Dashwood um, can choose between a 10mm pistol or a 32mm pistol. Hmm. Can I try to... Uh just talk using charisma to get my my laser gun back um you can't you can but you've you're kind of past the area where you can convince like the this part of it you're kind of meant to be like thrown out of the vault before you have any chance to really do anything and you're just like it shuts behind you uh and you can't like no one's talking to you You've just got to complete this mission and then contact them after you've done it. So it's very mm. rushed, very solid. You were told at last minute. And something doesn't feel right about it either. Okay. But if you want, I can quickly go and make a laser. Well, no, if that's, uh, if they're kind of just shoving us out the door as part of the game, it's like, yeah. that's just how it goes. I don't want to give you a laser too quickly for three reasons. One would be how, like, useful it would be at this point, which would take away some of the enjoyment of the other part of the game. But the real reason are, one, you will not have the ability to find any ammunition for it at this stage. Uh, and two, there are, like, it's kind of like, it's not just a high-end weapon, but the technical use of the weapon, if you screw it up, can kill you or another companion. It's like having a high-level weapon that can, like, if you haven't had the training or the perks, kill you. All right. So it's dangerous to have it without being at a higher level. Okay. Okay. But I can make you a crappy little laser that uh, Thingy will make themselves after gathering components after a session or two. Okay. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, no, that's, uh, however this game goes is however the game goes. All right. So far, it's going to be great. Okay, so... Well, when you said crappy little laser, I like I pictured a, like, a laser pointer, like what a cat would chase around. <laughs> uh, Henry, what's your choice of weapon, your gun? Um, ten millimeter or thirty-two pistol. Which one's better? Um, the guy who's been teaching you highly recommends the ten millimeter. 
Uh, although he does state that 32mm pistol will probably have more ammunition out in the wasteland. Mm, um, I think I'll go with the 32 then. Okay. Because, I mean, what's the point of a good gun if I can't fucking use it? Um, this whole time I'm complaining to Big D that, uh... Man, can you believe they took my laser gun away? Like, it was one incident. Like, we're still friends. Right? Yeah, it's kind of whack, honestly. Yeah. You know what? They, they probably offer to provide didn't you with appreciate... a new nut. They probably didn't appreciate your enthusiastic love for Mothman and trying to know as much about him as you can before you leave. And you know what? Exactly. They're haters for it. Mm. They but, are. Like... As a heads up, in infantry, if it gets full, it is full. You cut... Uh... You can't put any more in. At the same time, there's also a carry weight. If you get over the carry weight, you can't move and you have to discard stuff. Mm. You can. Oh my god! You can I'm forget that so easily. You can. What is the carry weight? You'll see it's it's 100 at level one. Okay. Uh, you'll see it here. It's at the bottom down here. What you'll keep adding until it gets to 100. Blue uh, alcohol, for example, means that you can carry more. Uh, sometimes if you damage or hurt yourself, you do a counter so you can carry less. Okay? Okay. Um, where is it? I can't find it. It's uh, on the page next to the uh, little pit boy. It literally says carry weight and it's got a guy with two boxes on his back. Oh, okay. Okay, so it'll start oh, and I add, I add what's in my inventory? Yep, to it. Everyone uh, add what's their inventory okay. to it. Uh, this should be 15 bullets, Dave. Yep. So that would be 15 altogether. Yep. Perk cards don't weigh anything, because they're, like, metaphoric. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I thought it's cram and not spam. Now, this is important to note. The small C card looks like a bottle cap, but it's really a C for currency. You don't know what currency is out here, so the only thing you really can trade with is physical objects. Although, you do have a single bottle cap. Heidi. Nope, because I got swiped. Oh, yeah, chai. Haha, <laughs> one up for Daniel. Oh, why? What happened? Don't worry about it. I'll tell you later. Alright. So, can... what are our Marauder names gonna be? Uh, his one, Daniel, it would probably be Tunnel Snake. Oh, yeah, because of the jackets. Mm hmm. Oh god, Tunnel Snake, that just sounds like a euphemism for a dick. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Lizzie Laser and the Tunnel Snake. Great. That's terrifying. Meanwhile, you wanna know the why the color is a big L? L? <laughs> right. I'm wondering if I'm remembering anything, forgetting anything for you guys. Nope, that's absolutely everything. Oh, wait, nope. Idiot. You're all naked. <laughs> Here are your clothes. I'm, I'm cool with it. Oh, you've got a special clothes. Uh, oh, actually, Chai, gave you the wrong one. There's your one. <laughs> yeah, it's called a birthday suit. Where are you putting it? I, I can't see. Where? Oh, there. Yeah, just under you. Looks like a normal clothing. Mm-hmm. Right. Why the uh, fuck is a leather jacket seven pounds? It also, uh, like the weight. Yeah. yeah. It's way, it's weight's the same as the thing. It's just a very heavy leather jacket. Yeah. Everyone else's clothes shouldn't be that high. It's not pounds, by the way. It's just a measurement of weight. Oh, okay. So it's five. Oh, that's five seven weight. heavy. Yeah, and a normal vault suit is five heavy. 
You can turn yours into a normal vault suit if you throw away the jacket if you want to. I'll take the jacket if you don't want it. I'll take it. Okay, does everyone want to put their stuff in their, like, inventories ready to use? Oh, yeah, of course, I forgot we, do. we could do that. Mm -hmm. I think I have oh it right. God, dude, I'm so fucking tired, I hate this. Why you okay, so Dave? I'm just very tired. Yeah, well, I'm tired really because you were working all day. Also, the dice, I know it's it says B dragon, but that just makes me think of bad dragon. <laughs> Do you want to put a stim... Uh, you can put the, the stim packs would go here, as an example, after making them smaller. So remember to make them fit the box, and then to put them in your inventory, so you don't, like, use up all your inventory. Mm-hmm. See? Uh, your choice if you want to use Radaway right or, or another stim pack in that area. And you both don't have weapons, so... And how much... What did you say it costs to pull something out of your inventory? Uh, 50 AC. Unless you have a perk card that reduces it. Which you can do. What does AC stand for? Action points. Okay. Oh my god, stop doing that. What, where are our action points, and do we get them back at a certain point in the day? You get a hundred action points, and you'll get them back when you're out of combat. Oh, okay, so it's just during combat that we have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, gotcha. Oh dear, it looks like something's happened with these edges. Yeah, they've gone kind of funny. I'll fix those at another time when we're back in the game. If anyone needs Ooh. the help with them. You want to put water in the ready-to-use, Dave? Oh, I don't know. I, I haven't, like, properly looked at where I'm putting them. Do you want me to help? I'm assuming we only get one use of each of these cards, right? Uh, well, not the cloves, but yes. You get one use of the consumable cards. So the water, for example. Gotcha. Which translates exactly to thirst that you can see down here. I've added new ones. You start at 100 first and then you'll lose until it goes to zero. If you go down to zero, you will die. Oh. So you don't... Oh, I saw... For intoxication, I saw the little arm, but I thought it was just his pants were down for some reason. Oh no, he's, uh, <laughs> intoxication is both <laughs> drugs and alcohol. If you get over 33%, he's drunk. If you get over 60%, he's high. If you get over 90%, he's ODing. Okay, you get that's not how yeah, drugs it, work. It's, though, the 19, right? it's the 1950s idea of how drugs work. Ah, I, I, I feel you. You're right, Dave. You look like you're having trouble. I, I'm having trouble. You seem to have moved uh -huh. it from the right place. Dave? Are you okay? These, these cards are so hard to move without them all stacking on top of each other. May, may I? What am I doing? You, you seem to have made a bigger mess than the one I've just fixed. You seem to have made some bigger as well. No, what? No, I haven't made any bigger. Dude, these cards have been made bigger. Look. No, they're the size that they were given to me as. They were pretty big when, when you brought them out. I actually shrunk the other ones. Mm. You can make them smaller. You press down. See? Like that. Can you do yeah, that? Yeah, I know. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Okay. You can't stack... You can stack them when they're in the inventory. You can't stack them when they're being played. When you use your stim pack, you've got to use 50 AC. You get to use this stim pack for free uh, because it's ready to use. But if you use it up to use a, to get another one, it'll cost you 50 AC to do. Shy, okay. you're naked right now. I'm not. I have a jacket. Yeah, but you're not wearing it. 
Oh. Yeah, you need to put a, uh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta shrink it down. It's too big. It's not fit. <laughs> I got you. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to deal with my cards. I hadn't actually looked at what the heck was going on and... up here. I was just trying to get them in this box without them all in stacking these... on top of each other. In these two here, you can put something in your pockets. Okay. Um. Um. I got a, a stim pack and a rataway in mine. I don't know if that's the way you want to go, but I I think if you pull from your inventory, um, Felix, you said that takes fifty action points when you're in combat it will take 50 action points okay if it's in your hand though it's fine right yep you get to use it immediately okay now that also happens with ammunition if you for example fire five times with your weapon you'll have to get them out of your pocket which would take 50 ac as well it also takes ac to fire a weapon to reload a weapon and so on um, uh, what happens if you run out of action points? Next person's turn. Oh, okay, that's it. It just resets after oh, the turn. Oh, okay, that's cool. So the Neat. the action points is, like, how much you can do in that turn. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, like, how many attacks you do or how many movements you do. It's just, like, until you've used up that many points. That's super cool. I love that. I yeah, I love that system a lot better than um, than like you get an action, a bonus action, and a, a reaction. Mm. Yeah, I I like that you just get to use a certain number of points. Chai, do you mind that's if really I'm messing idea. around with your thing to set it up? That's neat. No, because I didn't know how to shrink them. Oh, uh, right. Oh, click you and right then, click, and then when it says scale, you can go press the work button down. Oh. Okay. So that should be. I'll just move that over there for you and then uh, down. I would have done it beforehand, but I need them kind of big so I can separate them for you all. Yes, Do not shri uh When they're in inventory, you can keep them big until it gets like difficult, but. Um... Sorry, I'm kind of like overly thinking. You can stack them when they're on infantry. No, you can't. Okay, you can't touch that part. I had it set up over sorry, here. How sorry, sorry, sorry. I like my corners. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you're. Uh, okay. You can stack food, water, uh, chemicals, uh, and other medicals up to ten, and you can do the same with ammunition as well. Once it hits ten. Um, you will, uh, you will have to then use another space next to it until it gets up to ten again. All right. How many spaces do we have in our inventory? You have as many as you can fit, which I measured out, but I can't remember off my head. Okay, but we've just changed the size of the cards. Uh, yes, but you won't be able to get smaller than this. As in, I will see if it's like, you can just put it up here where the little cards are, or the slightly bigger one and slightly other one, and see the basic size, and that uh, should right, be okay. So you can use that as a measurement formation as well. They can be big, right. uh, or, uh, or, or thingy, but you can't shrink them past this size, okay? Okay. Alright, now let's add... Um... Let's say you have, uh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. let me just, right, the guy says, all right, so, uh, your mission is to find the next, uh, find, uh, a couple of vaults or an area that has it and find out why these vaults have stopped communicating, uh, and if while he's talking, okay. mm -hmm. while he's talking, can I try to pickpocket him? Yep. <laughs> do, do I do it? Let's have a look. You actually have a pickpocket stat down here. Steel. Oh. Or, yeah. So... Steel. steel. Oh, steel. Zero. Steel is, as you can see, it's coloured, so it's colour-coded with agility. So you actually have six steel. Because you add okay. the thing on top of whatever colour it is. 
So six steel. Uh, no, he just slaps his hand away and doesn't even react because he expects it from you, Lizzie. I don't know how like the smartest student and yet the biggest disappointment. Yep. Yeah. That's your own. Oh, I bet. I bet you've got that <laughs> thing where like you're the smartest kid in class and you're like bored all the time because all the work's too easy, so you misbehave. Ah, yeah, that's probably it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Warning, I am starting something so everything might fuck up. Ready? Okay. Let's blast off. <laughs> 